Hey, boys and girls. Whoop, hold on, I'm gonna turn this around so you can see me. Hi, how's everybody? This is Mrs. McAdams, obviously. It's Wednesday, uh, around 5.45. It's almost dinner time at my house. So I wanted to check in and say hello. Hope you all had a good day today, whether you were at school or at home. So I wanted to talk a little bit about Mr. O. You've been learning about opposites this week and Mr. O and words that start with O. So hopefully you have a pretty good list going on. This is a harder letter to find words that start with O than last week's letter, which was F. Boy, did we have a big list of F words, didn't we? It was great. But so what I thought was I would look around my house for either objects that started with O or words that started with O. And I had more luck finding things that had words on them that start with O, mostly in my kitchen. So I pulled them all out and I was gonna show you what I found. So hopefully uh, we can add these things to the list if you don't already have them, okay? So if Mrs. Engel and Mrs. Um, Leghorn might be able to write these things down as I go through them, some of these you might already have, okay? Are you ready? All right, so I'm gonna turn this around. Now you're gonna see my kitchen instead of me. Here we go, ready? Okay, oh, there's my purse. All right, so first I have a picture of Mr. O. I have some of these at my house. So this is um, the Mr. O that we'll do for our letter page. This is the smaller one, right, that we use when we're making those little stick puppets or sometimes we use them for our books. So we can see opposites here on Mr. O. So you can see Mr. O has one eye open. What's the opposite of open? Yes, closed, open and closed. And then with Mr. O's hands, right, he has one hand up. So what's the opposite of up? Yes, down, up and down, those are opposites. All right, let's look at his feet. He has one shoe on, yep. And so the opposite of on is off, that's correct, off. Just like, look, I don't have my shoes on right now either, mine are off. And then, did you notice his shirt? Hmm. So we have one side that is tucked in and the other side that is out. That's right, so in and out are opposites as well. Okay, so here's Mr. O. So let me show you the items that I got out. Now, most of these items don't start with the letter O, but they have O on them in their name. So, all right, let's start with this one. Now, this is my favorite snack popcorn, that's right. Now this is not popped yet, maybe I'll have this later for a snack, but there are two words on this popcorn bo um, bottle that start with an O. This one is the name of this little man right here, and the title is Orville. That's a name that starts with O, can you see it there? And then there's a word, this I have found on a lot of the food in my kitchen. This big word that starts with O is original. And when something is original, it means it's like one of a kind, right? So this is the original Orville Redenbacher's popcorn. So Orville and original. We can add those to the list of O's. All right, now let's move over. This is a little jar and it is relish. And it says pepper and, that little symbol means and, onion. So if we don't already have onion on the list, we can add that, O-N-I-O-N. -O -N. And the letter O is in a lot of words. There aren't as many words that start with O, but boy, you'll see O a lot in all of those different words. And we know that O is one of our vowels. So if this letter friend were colored in, we know that Mr. O has a uh, red shirt because he's one of our vowels. Now, let's see. Mrs. McAdams might have an onion in my refrigerator. Let's look. Here's my fridge, okay. It needs to be cleaned, let's see. Oh, I do, look at me. Okay, so I do have something in my house that starts with an O. There it is, let's pull it out and bring it up here. Okay, I do, there I have an onion. So onion starts with O. Hmm. Wouldn't wanna bring that to school because that would probably start to smell funny, wouldn't it? Okay, perfect, so we can put Orville, Original, and Onion on the O list. Okay, ready? Moving over. All right, now this is a bottle of something that I cook a lot with. And if you can see on the front, there are two words that start with O. This one is olive, and this one is oil, olive oil. And you can see in here that yellowy liquid is olive oil, and you can use it to cook with. 
So you also notice on here, do you see the other O's? One, two, three, four, five. O is a very common letter, those vowels you see a lot. So this says cooking olive oil, all right? Okay, so we can add those two to the list. All right, ready? All right, moving on. Okay, now, the thing that's inside this container is actually something that does start with an O. Let me have you look inside and see if you know what these are. Do you know what this is in here? Ah, uh, yes, this is oats or oat. You can make oatmeal out of it. So when I look on the front, here's the word oats, O-A-T-S, right? Mrs. McAdams likes to make oatmeal raisin cookies. So maybe that's something I will do tomorrow, oatmeal. Okay, let's move on over. This is a bag of pretzels, and this is a bag of rice. Both of them have that same O word that was all the way over here where it says original. Remember how I said a lot of foods seem to have that word on it. So if you look right here, see it? Original. And do you see it on this bag? Yep, same word right there, original. So that's a really popular O word that's used on different foods, original. Okay, oh, we're actually gonna see it on this one too. All right, bringing it over here. All right, take a quick look. Do you see the word original? Yep, there it is, right there. And if we move down, here is another O word. That is our, O-U-R. So like if I said, our classroom is the best. That's the word we're using right there, hour. Mm -hmm. Not like an hour on a clock, that's spelled differently. All right, okay, now moving over. Here's that same word, hour. This says try hour. Here's an O word, other, right? Try our other great products. So there we see our and other, which are two more O words that we can add to the list. So those are the only things I found, but as I walk around my house, there are O's everywhere. Do you wanna see some? All right, let's do this. Let's go over here. I've got a little desk area over here. It's got lots of pictures and stuff. So here, I'll bet some of you recognize this word. Do you recognize this word? M-O-M, -M, right? That spells mom, right? These are notes from my boys. And then here's a nice little poem with the word mom on it. Do you see the O? There it is. And then I have a special sign. It says coolest mom ever. Look at all the O's. One, two, three. And then down here, we have a special thing. Do you know what this word is? L-O-V-E. Yep, that's love. That has an O. Here's Y-O-U, that's U. Here's T-O, which is two, like we're going to the store. And then we have T-H-E, that's the, but that's not, uh, there's no O in that one. Oh, there's a picture of Caleb back there and Noah. And this word is moon, two O's in that, M-O-O-N. Look at that, all of those O's just in that one plaque. How about that? So let's go on an O hunt. Let's see if we can find some others. I'm gonna pull open my cabinet here. Oh, right away, look. Oh, here's our wow word from this week. Boys and girls, this was the first wow word you learned at the beginning of the week. It's cozy, remember? And there's an O in that, C-O-Z-Y. And this word is chamomile, which is a type of tea. Do you see the O? Yeah, yep. There it is, perfect, there's an O there. If I come down here, here's some cereal. Here's the word go, G-O, and here is the word Cheerios. See how it is? There's the O, voila. Lots and lots of O's. All right, should we look somewhere else? All right, let's go in here. This is my pantry where we keep other food and all kinds of other messy items in my house. But here's some fun things up here. Okay. Oh, this is Caleb's favorite thing. Hot chocolate. Can you see the little snowman on there? See the O? Yep. And here's another O and another O. There are three O's. Hot 
chocolate. Yeah, I love it. Very good, huh? Okay, let's keep going. Let's see. O's, O's, O's. Let's see if we can find some O's. <laughs> oh, do you see some? How many do you see there? Let's count them. One, two, three. Oh, and a little one in the word coffee. Four. All right, yummy. All right, let's see what else. O's, O's, O's. Where? Oh, oh, oh. Ah, do you see an O on here? You do? Okay, where? I see one here. <gasps> Look up here. I see one here and one here. Three O's on that. Okay, what else? Let's find one more thing that has some O's on it. <laughs> oh, here, let's turn this over. This is a roll of paper towels. There it is. Okay, take a look. Do you see an O? All right, how many O's? Yep, just one here. Bounty. There's the O in the word bounty. Very good, boys and girls. Finding lots of O's. So now what I want you to do, your homework, is you go to home to your house and see how many things you can find that have O's in them. There are a lot of them. Oh, look here. Da, 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 da. Two O's in that one. Look at that. Let's see, turn it this way. Clorox. See, there's one O and two O's. Lots and lots and lots of O's. Okay, so really quickly, we're going to go back this way. We're going to go into Mrs. McAdams' little space. This is where I do all my work. Remember I talked about my pink couch? Here's my pink couch in here. I've got all kinds of school work out in here. I've been busy working on some things for space. This is where I also do my read-alouds, so I'm going to be plopping myself here. Let me show you what I found. <gasps> Mrs. McAdams figured out that I have one more pigeon book. I'm going to bring that in and read that to you. And this is the one in just a little bit I'm going to do a read-aloud for, The Day the Crayons Quit. So I'll be back in a few minutes and sending you that read-aloud. So thank you, boys and girls. Let me know how it goes this week with O. Can't wait to be back with you. All right. Bye, everybody.